Tenzig demo to deployed. Tenzig offer a free demo and the option to test drive one of their devices for 30 days. So I'm just going to walk through the process of how simple it is to request a demonstration device. I've navigated to the Tenzig site. I've selected free demo. You'll see there's no credit card required, no obligation, free tech support, free endpoint management software. Now I'll fill in some common questions, then click Submit. There was a fast response. A member of Tenzig phoned up. We discussed what my requirements were, what I was looking to achieve. They offered free tech support. We then discussed what device was going to be sent out. The device came a few days later. This is the parcel I received. Branded Tenzig. Let's start opening the box just to see what the was sent out. The first item in the box was a leaflet saying welcome to Tenzig. For detailed instructions on how to set up your new device, please go to tenzig.com slash welcome. The next item was a leaflet on Tenzig Manager. A bit of information and where to download and just explain that it was free with no user or device limit. A packaging list showing the contents of the box. Now this is a nice touch. A prepaid returns label. No hassle, return this device in the future and no cost. A mounting bracket for the zero client. And finally, the 6000 series Zero Client, which is available for a variety of platform options such as Citrix, VMware, Linux, and Windows 10. That's the device out of the box. It's quite small and compact. Well, let's quickly plug the power supply into the back. This is the performance unit. There are a variety of hardware options that would support normal office worker up to a power user. This one has two display ports and the ability to handle two 4K screens. The user manual of the 6000 Q series included in the box. This device on the rear has an RJ45, 2 times display ports, 4 times USB 2. On the front it has one USB 3 and one USB C. This is the stand for the device to sit on. Quickly plugs in here. Easy to assemble. wiggle and there you go. Bag of screws just to fasten the base to the device. Next this is the mountain bracket so if you wanted to fasten this to the back of a screen I project it on the wall. It's quite simply just a unit just to slot the device into. And there we have it, the device just simply slides in. You see how it would fix to the back of a screen by then four holes in the back. Now we're going to add the keyboard, mouse. This one's a wireless keyboard and mouse. So a quick USB dongle in the back of the device. Add the power supply. Now add the network lead, which is connected to our switch. We have a large 4K screen which is going to connect via display port to the Tenzig device. Time to power on the device for the first time. From powering on the first thing to configure is the country. So we're going to select the UK. Note if connected to the Tenzig Manager with a template applied, all the settings will already be configured. Now we are presented with a kiosk style interface of the VMware Horizon client. 
which should require minimal lockdown configuration compared to the average laptop lockdown configuration. First step, enter the server details. Now you can click OK and go with the defaults. Now you're prompted with a VMware Horizon client. Enter your username and password and the domain details. Ah, problem. We haven't entered the certificate yet, so let's just close that back and go to the settings. Our certificate's on an external USB drive. So first of all, we need to allow external USB storage to be connected. Now we've enabled the USB storage, we're able to put, plug the USB key in with our certificate on. Quick click on install the certificate. And now the certificate's in place. Close the session, close the settings, close the control panel, and then go back to login again. Note, there is an option to ignore certificate prompts and continue under settings. This time when we enter our username and password and domain details, this should allow us to log in. Success. Now we can click on the desktop. Now we've established the connection to our VMware Horizon environment, we can just launch the desktop. And now we're presented with the Windows 10 desktop. Now the device is up and running, let's have a look at the free Tenzig Manager included at no cost. Tenzig Manager allows you to control and manage Tenzig devices by applying templates or configuration settings. Now we've connected to the Tenzig Manager console, we can see our Tenzig device is shown as online. If we click on the device, we can see there's additional settings we can apply to this device. The Cloud Agent is a key feature to managing those devices of users working from home. Then you've got the computer name. There's the display settings. As you can see, you can change them to 4K. Keyboard settings. Resource installer. So printer drivers, wallpaper, desktop image. You can also point the device at an NTP server. Now you can see you can set USB device redirection, such as smart card readers, storage devices, webcams, and printers. There's additional VMware Horizon client settings you could configure, making it very simple to customize the end user experience. Some of the key options available include auto launching a specific desktop, Multiple server URLs separated using a comma. 2FA login mode supporting Duo, RSA and smart cards. An option to remove the toolbar for a zero client experience. Finally, show a desktop name option, a handy feature when support needs to shadow a session. Now let's close Tenzing Manager down. Let's click the cross. To disconnect from the desktop, you can just click the Windows button and disconnect. To power down the device, Click the power button and click shut down. Thanks for watching this video on Tenzig Demo to Deploy by Stephen Hackers.